Hey guys, my name is Rick. Welcome back to the channel. I had a subscriber question about what size air compressor is needed to run one of these hydraulic forge presses that are driven by a 20 ton uh, air over hydraulic jack. These air, air over hydraulic jacks are terrific. I got this one from uh, Harbor Freight. It's 20 ton. It requires 90 to 120 PSI and uh, it's been working out great but you got to make sure you've got the right air compressor to support it. So let's go over to the shop and we'll check out the air compressors. All right, guys, here are the three air compressors that I've tried to run that 20 ton air over hydraulic jack. Uh, listen, all of them can deliver 120 PSI. The question is, is how long, can, <laughs> how long can they do that? As well as, you know, how often is the, is the motor cycling uh, to keep up? This little pancake air compressor, it's a six gallon air compressor. Um, it can never keep up. As soon as you actuate that air over hydraulic jack, this turns on and uh, it can never keep up. And then of course, as it won't keep up, then you're not getting the PSI that you need for that jack to operate uh, as quick as you'd like. Um, here's a 22 gallon air compressor. That works, but I consider this to be a minimum because as I'm working in the forge, this is constantly running and it's very loud. It's not an oilless, it's, it's a loud oil, it's, a, it's an oilless, air compressor and it's very loud and I can always hear it running when I'm running that uh, forge press. I recently upgraded to this one. Uh, this is a 29 gallon um, air compressor. It delivers a little over six CFMs uh, at, uh, at 90 PSI and, uh, and it's been working great. So it delivers the air that I need. It delivers it for as long as I need when I'm uh, forging and it doesn't cycle as much so it's not wearing out the motor as much as some of these others, it uh, it kicks on every every two two every two heats, if you will, uh, as I'm forging. So uh, so that's what I would say. The bigger the better, but you know you know you can't always afford a, a six sixty gallon or eighty gallon air compressor. They're very expensive. Um, so I would think the minimum would be twenty two gallon, and uh, certainly this twenty nine gallon uh, seems to be running ideal. All right. I hope that was helpful, guys. Thanks for the question, Phil, and. Uh, We'll be back again here soon.